Hello friends, it's Shara and I have gorgeous Yulia here. I call her Leah and she is dressed in this adorable petite Ami dress, but I want to uh, change her out of this and put her in a little sundress that I bought from Janie and Jack. So she does look so precious in this though and her hair looks so cute with this headband. She's such a pretty girl. I have her resting on a pillow I sort of created. My mom made me some swatches of some Angora yarn that I had purchased so that the babies could rest on it without messing up their hair. So I wrapped it around a pillow with some ribbon and I think it, uh, it works pretty good for the babies that need it on the changing table. So the changing table is getting quite full. I was going to show you, but I still have just a little spot for a baby, <laughs> but I have the, um, beautiful, um, bear and rabbit that were made by um, uh, a dear friend on Instagram that lives in Belarus. And this uh, Eeyore was made by my friend Janet, also on Instagram. Um, I have my jelly cat bunny here. <laughs> Every nursery has to have a jelly cat bunny. And I don't know if you guys have seen sweet grace since she's been all dressed up in her beautiful outfit she's the one that i bought from sweet potato sweet potato pie nursery as a painted kit and i bought her a body and then i found in my stash this beautiful Russian uh, onesie and side snap cardigan set. And I also had these beautiful hat and booties that just fit her perfect and look so amazing on her. And so that looks beautiful. And of course I have the books and there's Dave chilling out. I think he looks so cute up there. And I have my doo-doo. I love that I have a doo-doo. And I have my little bumblebee. And then up here, I just have some bonnets stored and the ribbons hanging. I think that's so cute. It gives it just, I don't know, a look that I really love. And then I have my Raggedy Ann and Andy. And I have all the supplies that I actually use. I don't really use lotion on my babies, but I use it for myself. And I do use powder for some babies that are a little sticky and having a hard time for me to dress. So I pat them down with some cornstarch powder. And I have baby wipes that I actually use. And then I have the brushes. So I love my changing table. I um, think it looks great and it's also extremely functional. I can totally dress babies on it and I can use it as an extra um, bed to keep a baby if um, I'm moving some things around. So I really love it. Um, I think my nursery is very eclectic and it's definitely not traditional but it works for me and I have 36 babies. I counted, I was wrong when I said 37. Um, I have several babies for sale and I have 36 babies, 33 are displayed today and I have them all out and visible, which I think is pretty impressive considering I'm only in a space of a living room and dining room and one corner of my room is an art studio and the other corner and part of the middle of the room is my bedroom and then I also have my closet. So I think it's pretty darn good that I have it set up the way I do and it's it works so beautifully for me and so I really love it. I think I'll uh, snap a picture of it for you guys as I um, 
after, at the end of this. Um, I do keep Charlie and Carolee in the stroller and it's so easy to move in and out as well as the bassinet that I have that moves in and out that I can keep them where they are and all I have to do is roll them away quickly to get to what I need. So it is very awesome for me. It makes me so happy. It gives me such joy to see all my babies and be able to grab them whenever I want and change them whenever I want because their clothes are very accessible. So it makes me very happy and I feel it's organized and I'm able to keep it clean. I have that little vacuum that really helps and then my son is wonderful about vacuuming and keeping it up, so it works. Anyway, I am going to change this little girl into this gorgeous dress by Janie and Jack. And I have several headbands. I'm not sure which one I want, but I think this dress is gonna look absolutely precious on her. It should hit her right about the knees. And I love it. It's so full and twirly. I love it, love it, love it. And these are the four headbands that I'll be trying on her. One is just a, a homemade, simple uh, yarn and dried flower or silk flower um, ornament on there. Very pretty. And I do like the way that looks. It gives a little yellow effect for the yellow flowers in here. Um, I do like this soft pink. It matches the soft pink in these flowers. I like the soft green. It matches the soft green that's throughout this dress. And then I do like this fancy white one that matches the trim really well. It's got this, this zigzag trim and I think the um, this bow matches it very well. So I will be trying them all on and what I want is for you guys to leave a comment um, for which one you think I should put on her, you think looks the best and then I will post a picture of the winning headband <laughs> in the community section. So that'll be fun. So let's take these off. Oop, I dropped one and put these to the side and we will get this pretty girl dressed. I'm not going to change her diaper today. She has a nice new diaper on. I will probably keep her undershirt. We'll see how it looks. I just love this little petite Ami dress. It's so cute. I think that um, I will find many babies to put this on. I believe it's a three month size. I'll check. It does have tinky tiny buttons. I hope you guys like the background. It has a background of children playing, which I love that sound, working at a school. That was one of my favorite sounds at recess when the kids would be playing. Um, I was right near the um, kindergarten um, playground and I could always hear the kids playing from my from my office and I loved that loved that so when I found this uh, video that plays sounds I wanted to play that so yeah she has a fresh um, uh, am uh, the amazing baby uh, diaper you're just laying a little funny Misty all right, let me put this to the side and let's get this dress. I just love hearing kids play. It's so sweet. Even if they're arguing a little bit, it's, it's interesting to hear how they work it out, you know? So I think I can keep her undershirt on let's see how it looks it is a little baggy on her this is a little bigger size i think that i will pull it down and tuck it into her diaper a little bit 
so that it's a smooth here. I like that it shows at the collar because it will help disguise her body from showing if the dress doesn't cover. So we'll see how it works. We're gonna go from under or um, from her feet so that we don't um, have to go over her head with all this. Oh, I forgot the little panties are still attached. <laughs> let me pull those off. Oh, let me grab some scissors, hold on. Okay, got the panties off. And we are going to get this dress on. Ooh, she's a little hippie. Usually I leave the tags on, unless I'm going to, of course, wash an outfit because it's still new if it's just been worn on a doll. I mean, that's how I feel. And if I ever want to take it to like a consignment store or something. Okay. Isn't this gorgeous? Let's turn you over, pretty girl. There you go. Okay. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's going to look so beautiful with her blonde hair. Isn't this so gorgeous? All right, baby girl, let's turn you over. Oh. Look at this. Look at you. Look at you. Oh my goodness, this looks so beautiful on you. I love it. I am so excited that I got this on sale and it's perfect. It's got two layers of tulle and then a slip. Very, very beautiful. Oh, baby girl, you look precious. Let's take off this headband. As we know, this one is not going to be the one we choose. And we will turn you and sit you this way. And you can sit up for a little while and show off your gorgeous sundress. Okay, well, here she is. I think I'm not much of an ironer but I think I will spray this with a wrinkle release. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the frilly collar. It's kind of up around her neck, but um, I think if I, if I spray it with a wrinkle release and work it out, it should um, fall a little bit, but uh, it's definitely not too big. It fits her beautifully. It's very beautiful. Are you looking at your aunties and uncles and telling them how beautiful you are? So let's go ahead and do her hair. I'm just going to spray it with some water. Because she was already wearing a headband, it shouldn't be too bad. Let's put your head forward a little bit, pretty girl. She has amazingly beautiful hair, as you can see. It's light colored, so it may appear uh, bald, but it's not. Look at this. It's amazing. She actually looks like a real child's head. 
it's literally one hair at a time and it's gorgeous and it has a little bit of wave to it however I have kind of flattened it down to put it in um, a headband but you see the back is kind of flipped up and her hair is truly amazing she was painted by Natalia Pronina who is just an amazing artist um, Natalia also did my Lulu and my little treasure so I love her work and like I said, um, Yulia's um, hair is really light blonde, but as you can see, there is no baldness whatsoever. There is a lot of thick, beautiful hair. She has amazing hair and it's absolutely gorgeous, the color. So, very beautiful girl. And it's just long enough that it doesn't look too long for a baby her age. I have seen babies born with, um, you know, this much hair before. So, yeah, it's pretty amazing. All right, I think that's good. Let's see, pretty girl. There you go, look at you, looking all snazzy in your beautiful dress. Yes sirree, oh, I love it, kind of this, um, I don't know, I think it's like a Carol Brady style. I, I absolutely love her hair. So let's try this one first. Side, and have some poofy hair around it very cute let's try the white one um whoa dave you're not supposed to fall um uh i don't like this one and i would have to fix this but i think it's um i think it doesn't go the right angle but that's my personal opinion i don't like that one all right, I think that that first one is gonna win. <laughs> and let's do this one on the side. All right. Oh, that one is very cute. Very big and foofy. Very cute, but I think the dress is foofy enough that I still like that first one best. And the last one is this green one that I think matches okay. Um, eh, I think that one's kind of boring. Yeah, I'm not feeling that one either. And so we have number four, number three, number two, and number one. And I, because I like number one for now, until you guys vote, I am going to put number one in her hair. Let's get her hair all fixed. And let's put this in. I like how soft it is on her hair too, on her head. And because of the material, it doesn't even have to be tight to stay because it'll kind of just sit in her hair. I think it's beautiful. It's very simple. And the dress is foofy enough. It doesn't need to be a foofy bow. But uh, I would listen to you guys and hear your votes but here is our gorgeous Yulia 
I call her Leah most of the time. Oh, I love that one. The pink is perfect. And the simple flower and leaves just look gorgeous. She looks so pretty in her beautiful sundress. And I will leave her barefoot, mostly because I like bare feet, but also because I don't have any shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any shoes, but that's okay because I really don't like them. And if she were standing, this dress would hit her right at the knees. It fits her beautifully. All right, guys. Well, I thank you for joining me today on this wonderful Father's Day. And for all the fathers out there, and for anyone who has played the role of a father, whether that be an uncle, a brother, a grandfather, a mother, an aunt, a sister, anyone who has taken on that role of father, I also wish you a happy Father's Day. And I wish all of the fathers out there a wonderful day, and I hope you are spending your day with your family and those you love, whether that be in person or on video or messaging. Um, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. And Miss Yulia looks gorgeous as always. And I especially like this dress. I think once it's uh, sat on her for a while, I'll spray some wrinkle release. And I think that collar will fall nicely and I'll like it. It was a little poofy around her neck, but it already seems like it's falling into place. And I love this dress on her. So I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their weekend. And as always, friends, we are sending you wishes of love and light. And we will see you in the next video. Take care, friends. Don't forget to vote on which headband you want Yulia to wear with this gorgeous dress. Thanks, friends.